So we as people are natural born creatives. I truly feel that in every part of my being. Like no matter what anyone says about you, no matter what opinions anyone has about you, like only you know what you can truly accomplish. Only you know what sort of capabilities you have and only you know what your purpose really is. And I feel like we all underestimate ourselves in the sense that we really feel like we can't accomplish these magnificent goals or we're not really suitable for these sort of creative endeavors. And it kind of just whittles away your kind of self-esteem and the, your, natu your natural born creative. Like if you really think about it, right? Go, even going back to history, like prehistoric humans, right? Kind of felt the need to sort of carve out these dot paintings, or I don't know, these like stick figures, or these like clay. Like I don't know, like you know that that kind of bullshit you see in the museums, right? You'd be looking like, damn, that looks horrible, right? But like at the time, you know, that was the best they could do with their sort of artistic set side, right? And this is something I've always kind of had inside me in the sense that I've always enjoyed and sort of found that sort of creative outlet very therapeutic and fulfilling, right? And I don't think this is particularly just specific to me per se, but I feel like everyone, human beings as a general, like the art of actually creating and actualizing, actualizing like a sort of thought in your head into reality is so cathartic and therapeutic. And that's sort of the thing I feel a lot of people, with the whole concept of your purpose, like, my purpose, all that sort of shit, right? I feel like the thing most people are missing, right? And this is the one thing I hate having conversations with people on, because when I'd be like, all right, what kind of hobbies do you have? What do you do for fun, right? They'd just be saying like, oh, I just go and watch Netflix or veg out. Like, oh, I just be watching anime and nothing really wrong with consuming, like consuming content, all that type of shit. Like I consume hella content, like I'm a YouTuber. I sort of, I sort of need to, right? That's sort of something I've come to realize recently, right? Like, but that's a different topic for another video, right? But in essence, if you're consuming more than you create, I feel like that's what leads, what leads to this kind of imbalance of um, a lack of fulfillment you kind of feel because the art of creating, the process of creating is something that's just so cleansing and healing for the soul. And I don't know if this might sound a little like, uh, what's, the, what's the vibes I'm going for? I don't know if this might sound a little like hippie or, so, or some sort of vibe, but like if anyone out there really can relate with the whole sense of having like a creative outlet, right? If you really think about it, we as human beings, and this is the one thing as well, when I say creative outlet, right, a lot of people typically think like, oh, okay, he's talking like painting or like musicians or anything like that, right? And then you sort of like cancel yourself out because you're thinking, I can't do any of that shit, right? So I'm not a creative person at all. But no, you are a creative person. The creativity extends so much more than this sort of baseline or boxed off representation of what you think creativity is. Even just fashion in itself, right? This is the big example I can put because my whole channel is a fashion channel, right? But fashion in itself, even if you're not particularly sewing the actual outfits or making the actual pieces yourself, the whole entire process of you putting together those outfits, styling those pieces and sort of bringing everything together to this one cohesive outfit, that is creativity as well. You're expressing yourself and using your own sort of personalized taste and sort of experience to put together this singular outfit. And even let's say gardening, right? Like specific ways people can sort of, um, I got put onto this recently by this one guy I was talking to, right? But he was talking about like, oh, what did this nigga say, bro? He was talking about like successive planting or some shit, right? But I don't know, he was just playing around with the ways he sort of like fertilizes the seed beds and like the ways he kind of um, plants the vegetables and all that sort of shit. He was like, I could see this dude was visibly passionate about this shit, having fun with that. And then even more so, let's think of another example, right? You can think about, um, think about people who sort of um, knit or like sew or like, you, you get what I'm sort of mean. Like creativity is so much more than just that sort of stereotypical artist or musician, right? Creativity extends so much more past that, right? And this is the thing I think a lot of people get fucked up with because if you're not out there actually creating or sort of um, finding a sort of outlet to express yourself in and sort of channel that energy outwards, right? This is why you kind of walk around life all fucked up, right? This is kind of why you just walk around life feeling a lack of enjoyment or fulfillment, right? And in all of my earlier videos, right, I was kind of saying this whole YouTube thing is my purpose, I found my purpose, right? Because in essence, I was sort of thinking like, okay, this is how, this is a sort of hobby or kind of thing I could do, right? That has like an unlimited financial ceiling, right? Where I can make hella money, right? Um, not to cap, that is, that is a big part of my purpose too. You know your boy likes to make money, bro. I love making money. Not that I'm making, not that I'm even making money off any of this YouTube videos, right? Like, bro, I'd be getting like $10 a fucking... Actually, I'll be getting like $100 every every month here and there with this YouTube thing. So that's kind of a nice little check right there. But uh, what I was going to say is... <coughs> <coughs>
yeah 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 with the youtube thing right so i was always in my other videos coming up saying like oh this is my purpose all this sort of stuff right and i think the reason i was saying this is my purpose right because i really was kind of enjoying that process of creating the video right like the whole idea of sort of bringing a video topic or a video idea from my brain into reality the whole process of bringing a video topic from my brain to reality is just such a it's it's such an amazing thing like i i really can't put it into words but the whole fact that we as human beings can kind of bring these sort of our thoughts and materialize them into actual reality is kind of godlike if you really think about it the main idea that it's just i feel like man in essence it's it's a need it's not a it's not a one it's a need a man man in essence it's a need for you to have a creative outlet for your day-to-day -day life or some type of shit, right because if a musician right is making um songs right making hella songs and getting no recognition right over time yeah the guy might quit right because he's like oh niggas are sleeping on me right he's gonna quit making music right but over time what tends to happen the guy will either come back slowly start making songs again either for himself just keep that shit to himself right because you know he fails and try to go blow up right or he might keep making songs again and try to start it all back up again right so it kind of makes a point where we're not really creating for other people sure we kind of want that recognition and that validation for other people for our work right but we in essence create for ourselves it's a therapeutic and healing sort of process for ourselves and i feel like you sort of have something that you kind of tucked away that you've always wanted to pursue in a sense that you never really believed in yourself in and that's why I say you underestimate yourself in the fact that you don't think you can actually achieve that. And I hate to sort of harp onto this whole concept of self-belief and repetition and self-talk, but the shit is so true. Like the way you talk to yourself dictates everything, man. Like I'm not trying to be on some spiritual shit or some hippie jumbo shit or some shit like that, right? But genuinely, right? Your outside world is just a reflection of your internal world. Whatever you tell yourself you can do, you can do. Whatever you tell yourself you can't do, you can't do. So it really hurts me to see when I talk to people, right? They just be like, oh, I can never do that. Or I'm not really a creative person. I just, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I think it kind of kills you slowly over time, right? Like when you just let that childlike creativity and childlike sort of playfulness about you just erode over time. That's kind of a reason why I don't really like talking to boomers or like older people, right? Because I feel like most of them have kind of like given up on life. But I do notice, right? I actually do notice in the older people and boomers that I talk to, right? The ones who sort of keep active hobbies and kind of have their little psychics going on, like, I don't know, like Cheryl who fucking knits those teddy bears for her grandchildren or some shit. They are generally a lot more... I'm not gonna say just doing that alone will make your life a lot happier, right? Because if you're a brokey, you're still gonna be fucked up, right? But having that sort of creative outlet day to day is what kind of gives your soul some some nourishment, man, some soul food, you feel me? Like, I don't know if this was like a bit of a rambling video, right? But I really just want to hone on the fact that you can do whatever you put your mind to, right? And particularly, I want to really harp on the fact that you need to find a creative passion for yourself. Like, I'm so glad I have this sort of YouTube to come back to, right? And I know some of you boys be YouTubers as well, right? Because I see in the comments you guys try to do YouTube, right? And speaking on that as well, my man, let me get some fucking refreshments up in here. But speaking on that, bro, I see some of you guys talking about, oh yeah, I'm a YouTuber, I'm on the grind and shit, right? Then I'll be clicking on your channels, bro. You've posted two videos in the last six months, man. Like. You guys are bullshitting, bro. Like, you guys need to get on your actual... <laughs> I'm off that, 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 right? But, yeah, generally, this whole YouTube shit has been so good for me, right? And I've generally noticed now that I feel so much better when I'm making videos that I genuinely believe are good videos, right? I'm way less inclined to care about this whole views, virality, and popping off. Now that I've kind of come to the point where I feel comfortable with, okay, maybe I'm not gonna blow up in one year or two years, like I thought I would, right? But as long as I'm putting out videos that I generally fuck with heavy, I put a lot of time into, and I love the whole creative process, then I am just a happy motherfucker, right? Like, that's all I genuinely care about. Like, that's all I care about. And I've noticed some videos where I slack off and I just be like, oh, okay, let me put out something quick for these guys, all right? I gotta stick to my weekly schedule, blah, blah, blah. I'll be putting those videos out, right? And I just feel icky, man. I just be like, that wasn't really a good video. Like, blah, blah, blah. And then sometimes I go and private them later on, right? Like, if you haven't noticed, that's why some of my videos are private, right? Those would be the ones I just think, either would be ideas I wasn't super into at the time, and I just sort of wanted to pump it out just for the sake of making a video, or just be videos that I, it was a good video idea, but I just got really struck for time, and I really just, let's get this video out there, right? But the videos that I generally put a lot of time and effort into, like, take my fucking time with, right? 
those be the ones that I just feel like, you know what? I don't care how many views this gets. Okay, that's a lie. Okay, that's a lie. I do care how many views it gets, but like the views aren't my main concern because I truly believe trust in the process, right? And not to piggyback, not to piggyback on me, right? This, is, this video is about you guys, man. My, my, this guys about you guys, about you guys, right? But genuinely, I want you guys to stop underestimating yourselves and really find a creative hobby or passion you can really pour yourself into. This is the biggest thing that sort of, I don't know, it just makes life so much more enjoyable. Like I can't imagine what I would do if I didn't have this sort of creative endeavor, right? And when I look back onto it, I've always kind of been a creative person low key. Like even before I was doing this YouTube thing, as a kid, I wanted to, um, I was doing video editing for like anime AMVs and shit. And then I wanted to get into like programming for like video games and like doing like graphic design and I was doing like ZBrush and sort of shit. Like I've always been a low key creative person, right? Even though um, I like to think of myself as a scientific like STEM kind of guy, right? But I've always had that creative side to me. And I think having that side is what makes it's just what makes life so much. I just look forward to certain days, you know? Like, I just posted a video the other day. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about this video. Like, I just, I, take what you will from this video, guys. I'm just kind of here talking off the door. I'm rambling and shit, but I don't know, my guys. Like, you guys are creative, you know? You're a creative person. And I want you to realize that no matter what anyone says, right? You, okay, let, let's keep it real though. There is some sort of inherent talent to this, right? Like, you can't just generally say, all right, I'll say talent and experience, right? Because I feel like anyone can obviously craft and... <coughs> Damn, my throat's throat dry as a bitch. But I feel like anyone can obviously craft their art and refine over time and get better, right? But there is some inherent talent to sort of have that kind of eye and understand. But you know what? That sort of eye for what's good per se might just be from experience in the field of actually of having consumed a lot of that sort of medium, right? So, uh, I will say there's a talent component to it as well, but don't let that fucking keep you down, bro. Like, you have your own natural talent for something. And before, I just, I'm not gonna stick here, keep rambling. Like, you guys get what I'm trying to say, right? Fucking find a hobby, right? That's, I guess that, I guess that was the actual summary that too long didn't read. Find a fucking hobby, right? That's what I came here to say, my guys. So, I'll see you guys next time.